Welcome to the study guide video for Principles of Programs, Chapter 12, Event-Driven GUI Programming, Multi-Threading, and Animation. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. What is an event? It's a trigger, an action that sets things in motion. In the world of software, especially those fancy graphical ones you're glued to, this is event-driven programming. Forget rigid line-by-line -line execution. Here, the user is king, or at least a very demanding customer. They click, they type, they swipe, and the application jumps to attention, serving up their digital caffeine fix. Think of it like a bustling city. Events are happening everywhere, all the time. Your app, like a seasoned taxi driver, needs to be ready to respond, to pick up passengers and navigate the urban jungle of user demands. And just like that, driver relies on their trusty GPS, that's your code by the way. Your app relies on event handlers to know what to do when those events come rolling in. In the realm of software, events are like those little notifications that pop up on your phone, except way more important. They're the signals that something has happened, a button's been clicked, a key's been pressed, maybe even a timer's gone off. Time flies when you're coding, folks. Each event carries vital information, like a digital messenger pigeon. It might tell you where on the screen that click occurred, which key decided to get involved, or how much time has passed. Compared to using a command line, an advantage to using an operating system that employs a GUI is you do not have to memorize complicated commands. When users can initiate actions by clicking the mouse on an icon, the program is event-driven. A component from which an event is generated is the source of the event. Next, we will dive into the world of event listeners. Now events by themselves are just fleeting moments like that hilarious meme you saw and forgot to save. To harness their power, you need event listeners, the ever vigilant guardians of your application. They're like those friends who always remember your birthday, except instead of cake, they're waiting for specific events. An object that responds to an event is a listener. Think of event listeners as specialized departments in your app's bustling office. You've got your click department, always ready to handle those button clicks, such as right mouse click, mouse drag, and your key press division, diligently recording every keystroke. And of course, let's not forget the timer task force, keeping everything running on schedule. It's a well-oiled machine, all thanks to the power of event listeners. A button, text box, and list box are all examples of GUI components. GUI components operate most like black boxes. Next, let's talk about the principles of good GUI design. The interface should be predictable. No surprises are needed. The program should be forgiving. If the user makes a mistake, the program should not crash or make the user start over. The user should be able to customize applications. Pressing SC is a natural choice for canceling a selection. Programmers cannot change the class of a component. Using good GUI practices will keep your users happy. You cannot assign a component to a different class. Wireframes and storyboards are created before defining objects. A storyboard is a sketch of a screen the user will see when running a program. Animation and programming is kind of like that, but way cooler and more sophisticated. It's about creating the illusion of motion, of transforming static images into dynamic, eye-catching experiences. Think of animation as the special effects team in your app's production studio. An object dictionary is a list of objects used in a program. An interactivity diagram shows the connections between screens. A thread is the flow of execution of one set of program statements. It's like the difference between watching a slideshow of vacation photos and experiencing those moments in a captivating cinematic masterpiece. Section 6. The Power of Synergy, Event-Driven GUI, Multi-Threading and Animation. Now, imagine combining the responsiveness of event-driven programming, the efficiency of multi-threading, and the magic of animation. When a computer contains a single CPU, it can execute one instruction at a time. Multi-threaded programs usually run faster than their procedural counterparts. An object's horizontal position on the computer screen is its x-coordinate. You create computer animation by drawing a sequence of frames that are shown in rapid succession. To see more videos like this, please click in the rectangle in the middle of your screen. To see other videos from this channel, please click the circle on the bottom right. That's the power of these concepts working in perfect harmony. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. 
It's about creating experiences that feel natural, intuitive, and dare we say, even a little bit magical.